You're an atheist? I am definitely an atheist, yes. Now, why are you an atheist? Why am I an atheist? Because there is no God. You believe in evolution? Of course I do, yes. A scientific method is based on the collection of data through observation and experimentation. Science Daily. Canine kind, the coyote and the domestic dog, and there's the feline kind, which is the cat, the tiger and the kitten, and you've got humankind. So Darwin said there'd be a change of kinds over many years, so could you give me one example of observable ex evidence of a change of kinds? So for instance, the fossil record shows the common ancestors of all carnivores, that cats and dogs were once linked, once united by a common ancestor. How long ago? Uh, this, I believe, was like 60 million years ago. The scientific method is, must be observable and repeatable, so could you give me one piece of observable evidence for Darwinian evolution? Okay, I would point to, as one great example is, look at the genetics of the stickleback. What's that? Uh, so stickleback fish are a very interesting collection of species that were recently isolated after the end of the Ice Age. What have they become? They're, they're various species of sticklebacks. They stayed as fish? Well, of course. Do you give me an example of Darwinian evolution, not adaptation or speciation, but a change of kinds? <laughs> These are changes of kinds. They're still fish. They're distinctly different fish. For instance, I would say, uh, look at Lenski's experiments with bacteria then. So what do the bacteria become? The bacteria are still bacteria, of course. So that's not Darwinian evolution. To summarize, the observable evidence that you give me for Darwinian evolution is bacteria becoming bacteria. No, it is bacteria acquiring new metabolic capabilities.